Hey guys, it's J Dog John Carsa Boom. Hey, wanted to say thank you, a special thank you to Willie Galloway. She was our guest speaker here this last Saturday. She was marvelous. Willie, you did a wonderful job. This is her, by the way. There here she is. Look at that. And not only that, so that's Willie, right? She is full of wonderful ideas. I came away inspired. You know, it doesn't matter how many years you garden, there's always another new idea that I like. Anyway, uh, her book thus far, I this is my copy. Look at this. She even signed it. Uh, I just want to show you, just because I am so proud that Willie herself, a Portlander, signed it. Happy gardening, Julie. <laughs> uh, Julie, our neighbor, Julie. Hi, Julie. Um, she got her signed copy, too. And then I ran in and to get the check for the book, and she signed it, Julie, again. She thought my name was Julie. Anyway, uh, thanks, Willie. Uh, great, great tips. Like, here's a for instance. If you missed it, I'm here for you. Uh, is that nasturtiums, right? We talked about gardening in containers, gardening in hanging baskets. And you know nasturtiums are great plants to trail over. They bloom wonderfully. Now we can get nasturtiums in particular colors. Blooms are edible. And this is kind of uh, one of Willie's specialties, by the way. Not only are the blooms edible. Have you, T-Bone, have you tasted that bloom? I have. What, what's, the, what's the bloom taste like? Uh, more like a peppery taste. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're really good. No, it's like a radish. Radish, yeah. yeah radish. But the, the leaves on an assertion, that's ah, definitely a radish. See, I've never had a radish, so I couldn't tell you. Okay, okay, we got it. We got to expand this here on the radish on your edibles here. There's more life than hamburgers. <laughs> uh, hey, um, that even the leaves and it kind of looks like she said looks like a lily pad, and it does. And you can put that as a garnish in soups and soups and soups and stews. And I thought, oh, that's great. And they're edible too. And it's like a, a leaner, lighter version of a radish. No, it's still the same pretty crispy taste as a radish. But anyway, those kind of tips on her book. You can get these at you can get this at Pals, Famous Pals, of course. I think you can get it online as well. So Grow, Cook, Eat, Thus Far. It's a wonderful book. Thank you very much, Willie. Um, guys, that's the show for the day. Always, hopefully that helps. Always live your passion. My little corner.